Patients expect competent people helping them during their surgery, and they want the best quality available. Safety issues do not enter their minds because they believe safety to be a given. Fortunately, they usually have no concept of the possible perils, but every member of the team knows things can go wrong. Some cannot be avoided, while others can be. For example, there is no excuse for a lost or retained sponge or towel. It just isn't acceptable in this day and age of tracking technology. We use the computer-assisted counting system to enhance the practice of counting sponges before and after surgery to reduce the risk of retained objects and help us provide the best possible care to our patients. Before starting a new report, check the battery status. If the charge is less than 50%, change or charge the battery before initiating a report. From the main menu, you touch the Start button to begin a new report. Verify the date and time. The Specialty Services screen will appear next. Select the service your procedure is classified under and proceed to the Staff screen. Here you can scan the staff badges. When you finish scanning the names, touch OK and the Patient Information screen will appear. On this screen, you will scan the patient's identification badge. Touch the OK button when finished. At this point, you will be counting in sponges and towels, and there are two ways to do this. You can either scan each individual sponge, or simply scan the one master tag on the wide band. The tag contains all of the numbers included in the pack. In an actual procedure, it is best to have the barcode label approximately 12 inches from the scanner in the middle of the scanner's projected crosshair. We do not break technique, because the unsterile scanner is not directly over the field. As you begin, you will hear a confirmation sound for every successful scan. And you will see an update on the screen. When you scan the master tag, you will only hear the voice confirmation that the entire pack was read. On the fifth lap or tenth sponge from each pack, you will hear a voice confirming that the pack has been completely read. The procedure to count out sponges is exactly the same as it is to count in. Scan over each data matrix barcode for the sponge or towel to be read. Each item counted out will be recorded on the count out red screen. When all of the items have been counted out, you will need to scan the closing circulators badge. At the finish, when the count is completed and all additional information has been entered, you have the option to view the final report on the counter or to download the report. We use the computer-assisted counting system to enhance the practice of counting sponges before and after surgery to reduce the risk of retained objects and help us provide the best possible care to our patients. From a manager's perspective, I like the paperless information database aspect because it helps me do my reporting and to pinpoint where help is needed. As an authorized user, I can view the full documentation of all procedures and I can get statistical outcomes such as the total number of sponges used in a given period of time and total use by service. I know the number of incomplete counts in relation to the total number of procedures, as well as the services and teams that resort to manual counts and how often. I am also able to see who is having the greatest problems. This information tells us who needs more education and what our utilization trends are, not just some article on national trends but what is going on right here in our own department? This helps with state regulations, joint commission reporting, and quality improvement efforts. What I like about this device is that it is very hard to make a mistake. If you accidentally scan the same sponge twice, you will hear and see the word duplicate. Another convenient feature is that it lets you go from count in to count out just by touching a button. When you want to switch, you simply touch the stop scanning button to temporarily deactivate the scanner and then touch the red count out button. If you have to add sponges in the middle of the case, it's easy to go back to the count in mode. Another safety measure of the system is that it will not count out a sponge that it did not count in. You will hear unknown and see unknown label number on the screen. This prevents the inclusion of a sponge from another or previous case 
from being accidentally added to the report. If during the procedure the data matrix tag becomes damaged and will not scan, you can manually count it out and you will have to type in a note explaining why you did so. You cannot close the report unless you make an entry. After scanning out the last sponge, you are immediately required to enter the closing staff information, and if you had not done so at the opening, the patient information. If you close a report without accounting for all items, you will be asked if you are sure of this action. If you agree and close the report early with items still not counted, you will see a warning sign and a list of four different options will appear asking you why you closed early. Some of the options cited are case canceled or wound packed with sponges. If the list does not include your rationale for closing without a complete item count, you select other and type in the reason. If during the procedure you manually counted out a sponge, you will have to type in a note explaining why you did so. You cannot close the report unless you make an entry. To close a report early while items are still not scanned out, touch the Close Report button from the menu screen. Again, you will have to explain why you are doing so, and you will not be able to close the report until you enter the information. At any time during the process, you can view a summary report of all the individual items you have scanned in and out by touching the View Items button on the menu screen. Other operational steps involving the counter include the ability to change the volume as needed, change the battery, or correct a crash recovery problem. The volume is changeable either at the main menu or more easily on the count in or count out screens. Touch the stop scanning button, touch the green volume button, and use the minus or plus buttons to adjust the sound level. The battery is changed by removing the hand strap from the top and pushing the tab up at the bottom. You have 30 minutes to replace it before the counter loses power. Click the new battery into place and reinsert the hand strap. If 30 minutes has elapsed before you do this, the machine will automatically perform a full reboot. Once you have the system down, it's very easy to use. Just a matter of scanning everything that you have in the beginning of your case and scanning everything at the end of your case to make sure that you have everything you started with. I like this system because you're able to input so much patient information. You're able to track things more than anything, like you're able to track when a sponge was scanned in, you're able to track when the sponge is scanned out. If there are any discrepancies, you can track it and immediately take care of it before the patient leaves the operation room. I feel a lot better knowing that uh, we have the system here and it works and it's best for our patients. Anytime you do any type of procedure, because everyone in the room is human, you'd like to think that people don't make mistakes. I like to think I don't make mistakes, I, and we try our best not to make them. You know, they do occur, otherwise you wouldn't have cases and things you hear about where those things have happened to people. So it's a relief to me because I know I didn't screw up in the beginning, <laughs> and at the end, I know that everything is, is out of the patient and is accounted for.